everyone, welcome to it. my first ever tutorial of how to use something. What are we? If let's go cut to chase these. This tutorial will be taught teaching you how to use paint 3D. If you don't know what that is, because it's literally just a a little worse version of it. It's just has a paint also an another art tool you've probably never heard of. Today we're making gotcha edits. Alright. First we get our character. Boom. First we go to studio and get our character. It's important to him for you to use a character. You can use multiple characters, but I use personally use this one. Color grade, I just normally can use those different colors. I'm going for a cyan, dark, dark cyan kind of background. And we move our character here, lock it, review. Then you can screenshot or snip. I personally use snip. See this icon up here? Edit with Paint 3D. This will be your basics for now. We got brushes. I'll be only talking about the brushes. Don't mind our the, the other things. These are her for her another video, I think. This custom colors are important because you're. This is why I custom. This is custom colors. This is pen. We got marker, calligraphy pen, oil brush, watercolor. A pixel pen, pencil, eraser, crayon, spray paint, and bucket. For now, we'll be using. For now, we'll be using a marker to clean up some things. More importantly, this is the clean up. Have these snippy tools so no one can know you snipped it. You can It looks weird. Here's that. Good thing we have fixed this hand opacity. We lowered it down to three. Actually two. But to clean up this over and over mess. I want you to take your time with this. Be very careful. Oh, a bit. Don't mind the background noise. Then we pick again. We put it back into a regular five. Unless, as you want to make it, but that's up to you. Here's something. Hang on, I want you to know. Marker is for darker color. If you want to do shading, you can do a marker for sure, darker colors, and, and spray paint for spray can. Ha, spray pan for, for lighter colors. Alright, but that's up to you, but I normally use it, so yeah. All right, let's start with the shading. If you want to do the multiple colors of shading, you can that sign that this will be a wheel only in focus on sleeves and hair. Or for now, hair, sleeves, and skin for now. Now, take your time. I said, take your time. So just color it in. Okay, nice and easy. Okay. 
see it affects any mistakes you see you have a under button or just fix it with a black with the this is the hey choose coat picker It's to the other side. Looks janky. Since it looks janky, I'm gonna fix it with. Since this sleeve looks a little janky now, for now, we're gonna fix for now. Since this part of her does look janky, we're gonna keep it this way. Hey, for now. Scream at me later. Now let's get on to the hair. This is the same process. Unless you want to add a light to your hair, hair I want you to use the lighter color of your Go to a lighter color of your hair. We're gonna hair. Or right, use a spray paint. Make sure opacity is one hundred and thickness twenty five. Alright, for any lighting that goes directly to the hair. It makes it nice and some nice effects. X on the hair. If this happens to you, I have it here. Use a marker and try to fix it. Ta da! Now let's go back to who editing with a spray can. I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, so yeah. I just personally use spray paint for lighter colors and in editing, well, I use a marker for darker colors in editing. Makes it nice and good. Makes it a little clean, clean for the darker colors and it makes it look like there's light reflecting in it. This is the undo and redo button. You just press this and, and it's done. The array. There's all layers to this, so you're gonna have to be careful. Oh, with what you draw. With what you're gonna edit. And done. Done. But Lily, what? What about the lighting on the foot? Oh, no, the... There we go. You can make the thickness of it. The lowest thickness that you can do is 25, so... No, oh, I'm gonna have to deal. I deal with it. Can you deal with it? Oh well. Just go color it good. Oh yeah, if this happens to you, I recommend use a marker and and use a black. Use the color outline and for for the hood such. Touch to fix it. It might take a two real tries, but hey. any hair, your any hair, you can just fix it with it. 
Like the marker too. Not what I need. Whoops. It may take a bit head to learn. It may take a bit head to figure out what the, the 2D shapes are self explanatory. Yeah, 3D shapes are also self explanatory. Stickers are where we use textures and stickers. Text is where we use the text. Effects is just effects. You can turn it this way or that way, if this way or that way. Canvas, yes, you can make it bigger or smaller. Now let's get back to brushes. Oops, the wrong one. A preference to hold. Red part. But Lily, what about the sleeves? It's literally the same thing. You just use a color color. I just normally use just a spray can. Now for the skin. We probably still have some left. And done. The eyes are so all self explanatory. You can use marker. You can use you can still color shade with the color. Hers and such. Custom colors are actually very good because you can make whatever colors you need. I'll just make a few of the dandelions. That's a large amount my thickness. Snow can be used the same way, I'll just make it actually snow. You can add a cloth. Oh, I'll do the shade. Alright, for a shady of your sky, if you're actually planning on making this the sky, I would recommend you pick the color, go to custom, go make it darker than it already is. Is it me? Get a different. And a darker color. Oh, yeah, I recommend the opacity 60 or lower for this one. For shading the sky. Those are clothing. That's because we haven't had a clouds yet. That's so.
Now it's time to, time to add some clouds. I want you to have a lower opacity, 50 or 50 or lower. Curve, there is recommended. I want you to have a high thickness, be two, over 200 is supposed to Somewhere in the hundreds, that is good enough. Now draw your clouds. I know it doesn't look like clouds much yet. Add just some white stuff on top. Just some white fluffy stuff on top, like a marshmallow. Uh, we'll get to the shading. For that, we're going to need this. 40% or lower is recommended with a darker or shade of gray, with a light shade of gray for the shading. Makes it look, look nice and good. This is one layer, so <laughs> I'll take your time with it and don't mess it up. Uh, if I mess it up, you have to un press the undo button. There's no going back. If you want to make the middle a bit darker, you can use a darker shade of gray. And voila! We can we can we can make a new snip. Up, we gotta make sure it's perfect, so. So I will say, press save. This is all different, so. So we add snow, dot pan, and G. If you press the X, it says, do you want to save or work? These are unsafe. Press save and, and you can edit this back, edit this later. Put, I'll put, put it, I can put a title so I can put snow, lily and snow, lily and snow, and save and paint 3D. It's saving, and this might take a while, so boom, you can go back and to paint 3D. You can open an existing pro project. I made many projects. They're all good. This is my first step of projects back in November 30th. A literal biblical accurate a mermaid that looks like this. I a mermaid that looks like this. Hope you enjoy. Anyways, that's all for today. Oh yeah, this is the man. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is the menu. You can open browse files, put insert, save. This is just a bunch of stuff. Up. I'll see you in a bit. Head. Head. Bye. Bye, everyone.